How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Tresses Collectibles channel. I'm Randall, aka Shizukats. What's up, guys? Mike here. And today we're going to be bringing you our third and final game for the Quintessential Quintuplets movie block. We're going to be playing the last two waifu decks that we haven't shown you guys yet. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be showing you Yotsuba versus Miku. So, Yotsuba, uh, definitely going back into the memory bucket. We've got a lot of cool new utility cards that play into that memory strategy. Uh, and so we're going to be trying to build a lot of memory to use with our cards. Mm -hmm. We have a new level one combo that is a on attack top check up to some number of cards. Uh, it depends on how many cards you have in memory. So if you have nothing in memory, she can only look at three. But if you have four memory, she can look at as high as seven cards off the top. Yeah. And also skills up per memory you have. So very nice there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for our level three, we have Yotsuba finally getting a finisher. After the first two sets, we had her on a minus soul combo for mm -hmm. both of those waifu overviews. And so this com this combo is a on attack pay one to burn two if we have three or more memory. And then also on attack non-climax combo, we can pay two, discard two to burn two yet again. So it's a total of three stock and two hand for two burn twos, which is and really, really nice. And they're all on attack too. Normally this kind of damage output, pay three, discard two, burn two twice is reserved for on reverse effects like Bang Dreams, Yukina. Yeah. But if you have the memory, the payoff is very real. Mm -hmm. On my end, I'm going to be repping Miku like I have the past several several uh, sets. We are going to be sticking with the old level 1 combo from set 1, which is on Climax Placement. If uh, I, I can salvage or search my deck for headphones. Headphones being our set 2, mil 5, top check, uh, top check 5 out of Miku. Into our new level 3, and this level 3 is pretty cool because she actually checks for the number of markers on your board and activates an effect accordingly. So on play heal and on attack, pay 1, mill bottom 4, and then if there is any climax mill, it doesn't check for how many climaxes total, but if there's any climax mill amongst those 4, I will burn 1 x times, where x equals if I have 2 or less markers on the board and equals 1, and x equals 2 if I have 3 or more markers, so... The deck construction for Miku has a lot of cards that get markers on play, give other cards markers, start up, give herself markers. So it's going to be a lot of markering. And then later on, we're going to be able to, ideally the maximum output is having three Mikus and then milling our opponent's bottom 12 cards and then burn one twice, six times. It's kind of like the, the total number here. Well, burn one, burn one burn, twice, burn one, three times. Burn, burn one twice, three times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did I say? Burn one twice, six times? Yeah. <laughs> burn one twice, three times. Yeah. Six total burn ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But notably, this is also the only climax combo out of all five of our waifu decks that we're running from the first booster set yep. of quintessential quintuplets. And the reason for this is basically uh, the new level one combo it does work with the marker strategy, but I think that if you dip too much into the marker strategy, it starts to, uh, I don't think diminishing returns is the right word, but like it starts to conflict with itself a little bit. It does, like, I feel like this is just, you know, solid, very solid and true. It doesn't rely on anything. You just, you play the climax, it'll get you a card that will help you transition to getting, you know, advancing your, your game state further. Yeah. The, the high amount of deck speed that's given to you by the set two headphones event is really strong as well. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a great source of mill and also top deck control for you because it does let you top check five, add one, and then look at the top card and either leave it on top or bottom. And then yep. like top card could be useful for if you want to verify a marker or something like that. Uh, or you could like put it on the bottom if you want to go into a brainstorm mm -hmm. after. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with that. Okay. So we'll see who wins here out of the two most inoffensive quintuplets. Mm -hmm. Very hard to... Hate Miku and Yotsuba. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the the last episode, Mike was playing my least favorite, and I was playing like these two girls. Uh, they have sinned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, I'm okay. going second. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. I want to be a bit more aggressive with my mulliganite thing. So even though we do have this Miku level zero, that's pretty good. I think I will get rid of it. So pitch three. Okay. I keep. I'll keep. Okay. Draw for turn. <clears throat> okay. Start off with the clock. Early play Miku. 
Um, not our ideal opener, but we have the next best option. Level zero Miku on play mill two, and then she gets one thousand per quince milled. Uh, Wait, isn't it? Isn't it? If you mill a climax, you can minus one thousand up front. Oh yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm confused with the other effect. And then on death, pay one clock myself, salvage any quintuplets. I'm kind of glad you went first because the the my ideal turn one play is a five hundred power character, and I would really <laughs> prefer if you don't blow that up because I need that to go to memory. Yeah, it's good. In the middle climax, anyways, and we'll go into attack right here four two. Okay, I need that level one combo. All right, drop three turn. more. Uh, we'll start by clocking the level one brainstorm and drawing two. Mm -hmm. Okay, we drew a pretty nice card. So let's see. We'll start by playing our clean cut on play reveal top if it's a yotsuba she gets 2k until end of turn it's still it's still reversing it y y yep <laughs> it's a gold bar and plus one it is indeed a gold bar I i'm fine with just tying i think so we'll try field with yeah, these two that sounds fun so the level zero over here uh says uh during my turn characters level zeros in front of her get 1000 and then i can pay one center to memory to top three add one and then uh, the second half of the effect works with a level 3 that we don't play in this deck, but this is basically going to be what I'm clean cutting back. Yeah. And then this level 0 is the new one. Uh, when this gets reversed, I can clock a card from hand and send this to memory in order to search my deck for any Yotsuba and add it to my hand. Yep. So this is kind of like a Rui Jared on reverse. Kind of. But it goes to memory. Wait. Well, it goes to memory, yeah. Very nice. Alright. Let's start with a direct attack here. We'll trigger the gold bar and then blind stock 1. Yep. Two's good. And we will continue with tying here. Mm hmm for one, I want that. Okay. And then I will use my effect to move this here. And then we will direct attack. Uh, That's a two level three gold bars. These are the, yeah, these are the wrong bar. <laughs> <laughs> Two's good. Okay. And over to you. All right. Um, I think I might as well use the advantage. Take them where they come. So on death, pay one, clock myself, level. And salvage. Actually, I'll level, I'll level this. Salvage. <laughs> yeah, that's a card you really only need one of. Yeah, uh, we do have our one, so no need for it anymore. Um, I think I want to grab this now. There really isn't anything else here that I want, I believe. Well, actually, we could use this. No, that card's good. Yeah, we'll grab that, so... Start with that. Draw okay. the turn. Yeah, clock, draw two. Mm -hmm. Darn. Well, we're doing a lot of nothing this turn. Um... Boy. Okay, let's mill three on play the each uh, the Nino climax. One. Yeah, try again. Or Miku, <laughs> Nino Ichika Miku. I'll get it right someday. I can't miss if I say all five. <laughs> Alright, so mill three, and then good golly, there are really just is not too many things that I can do here. Okay, next. Play this, and on play reveal top. Uh, discard right. one, right? It's like Rico effect, yeah. Or oh, you're doing no, the, no, I'm you're doing, doing the, the power, pump. the power, power first, yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah, top yeah. chuck. Uh, it, it's a Miku, so I'll give two K to these two Mikus, mm -hmm. and then I get to discard to discard anything salvage level extra lower. Mm -hmm. Just for the sake of attacking three times, I'm going to discard this, salvage. And then you can get it back later. Yeah. I'll mill two. No! That's so cringe! Oh Pew! my god. Pew! Oh no, why? Pew. My plans are foiled. And just in case, I trigger twice, since I have six cards. Now I'm down to five. Okay. Alrighty. Pew, 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 pew. Two. Take two. Direct. Two. Cancel. Direct. Ooh! Oh. Nice. Take three. Yep. We'll level yellow here since we have green incoming. Mm-hmm. All right. Stand draw. Here we go. 
Draw for turn. I'll clock this early play. Draw two. Okay, so we don't have the right climax to combo. What is the plan, man? Do you have a climax swapper? Nope. With all those gold bars. Hmm. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? What's going on? Hmm. Curious. Let's start with... Hmm. Alright, let's start with this. On play, I mill two, and then for each Yotsuba I mill, she gets plus 1,000 power until end of turn. That's the effect I was thinking of. Okay. So we get 1,000 power, mm -hmm. which is 25. Okay, what am I doing now? <laughs> <laughs> Take it one card at a time. What am I doing? <laughs> Let's... Man, that mill climax was great. <laughs> Let's... Let's play Ramorous? Yeah. I'll pay one and then I'll summon a yes. Quince character, cost zero. From my wait or a uh, Yotsuba cost zero from my waiting room mm -hmm. and summon it. Okay, so we need something that can kill those. Mm, these guys are very base. <laughs> okay, nice. We'll get a clean cut. <laughs> and then uh we will move this over here just so that clean cut gets the kill. And then yeah, sure, I guess we'll play with this 1k1 I got. I mean last you turn. I might as well, right? You gotta push some damage. Yeah, alright. Uh, let's start, I think this is what I'm gonna want to put back into my hand because, uh, or put to my back row because I can use this next turn. So I'll front here, this is 5k, 4 2, I, I want that. <laughs> These level 1 combos are very elusive. Oh my god, okay. Next we will front with the clean cut. Yep. <laughs> There's three of them in your stock? <laughs> Okay, back row. Okay, back row. Right, I will use my clean cut effect to move to back row. Yes. And then we will front attack here for 3 5 for right, 3. Can we get a cancel? Nice. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> All right, that goes to memory. This goes to memory. Yep. And do I want to use effect? I do not. Okay. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Can we not? <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> All right, clock. Draw two. All right. Start off with using the Miku's effect. Rest, pay one, uh, put a card from my hand underneath her as a marker face up to salvage any character. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab this back because she's a good card and I wanna get rid of this other climax I have in my hand. Mm -hmm. Don't want all these climaxes. Then I'm gonna play a Miku just to give the power. On um, play, reveal top. Nothing happens, which is fine. Yeah, she misses on the headphones, but like, headphones yeah. is just, it, she, she hits yeah, on Yeah, she hits on nice, nice idea. idea. It's the other card that checks for any event or character, I Yeah, think. The, the- The other one zero. The, also the level zero uh, run away, run away? But yeah, run? yeah, yeah. All right, second effect, on play, discard anything. Savage level one or lower. I'm grab a combo off that, pretty nice. There are no combos. Oh. I have all of them. <laughs> <laughs> when you say all of them, do do you mean? Well, I don't have all of them, all of them, but I have everything that I can play. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Level one or lower. Let's grab this PR. That will allow me to maybe grab a climax next turn. Okay. <sighs> I'm chilling. Okay. Okay. One K one. I have an event here. I have an event here. So this one will search. And then the second one will also search, and then I will salvage one. Yep. All right, so order here, for sure you want to attack this first, probably, because uh, it's a salvage. Probably, yeah. I don't want you to level and get all that level 
level selection down. Yeah. Okay, so front. Yep. Three. Well, yeah, we'll call it next turn. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Three. One, two, three. Take the three. I will use the effect. Yep. When I am reversed, I can pay one. Discard one. Mm -hmm. We'll discard this. Send this to memory. And then I'm gonna... Combo. I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna actually grab Salvage Brainstorm. Okay. All right, Dark. Stop. Oh, for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cancel. Dark. Four. Cancel. Okay. Nice. Hey, all things considered, not, not too shabby. Okay. All right. How many are you at now? I have four in waiting room. One in hand, two in stock. Yep. Okay. Draw for turn. Mm. Clock this. Draw two. Mm -hmm. Imagine getting level one combo. Oh, hard to get them when you have three in stock. And one in waiting room. All right, we'll start with uh, level one brainstorm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play a clean cut, reveal top, gain 2k. Mm. It's funny that the Yo 12 brainstorm also doubles as an attacker. Yes. It's a pretty nice part of this card, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, Yeah, I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just play 1k1. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, this Yotsuba on attack, if I have four more hand, which I have exactly four, she gets plus 3k until end of turn. This Yotsuba, if I have a card in memory, during my turn she gets 15, so she goes to 6-5. Mm -hmm. And then this is 6k. Yep. All right, so we'll start with a front attack here for two. Two. Uh, cancel. And then we'll front attack here, attempting to tie for two. Okay, level. And then I, I will keep my, my brainstorm. <laughs> yeah. And then we will front here for six, five. For three. Okay. Three's good. Refresh five. Not great. It's okay. I'm going to join you soon. Okay. Oh boy. And this is dead. I still don't know what this is, by the way. I have not been I have not been able to search my deck. <laughs> How many out? Uh, I'm out six. I would have been able to search my deck, but you killed this. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a you problem. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. All right, refresh. Take the three. Okay. Okay. Mm I am in pain. Draw for turn. Yeah. No clock. I just want to reuse this card over and over again. Which card? This one. Ah. All right, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's start with the headphones for now and see what we get. That's not what we want to see. Well, healer's pretty good. Uh, oh, might as well get a finisher now. We're basically... A okay. step away. Okay. And then top check. Sure. Well, at this point, I think I want to try to find a healer. Three, four, five. Uh, I see tail is fine. Okay. Actually, I'll grab a counter. Counter might be useful. Sure. Top check. Headphone? Again. Again. We go again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Top check. Um... Okay. How do we mill more cards? I'm sure there's something you can salvage off this that can mill. 
Yeah. I salvaged the... Are you out all four headphones already? Yep. Okay. No, the Climax Swap. Hmm. Still not great. Let's see. So I can play that. Oh, actually, that's actually not that bad. Okay. So I'm going to activate effect, pay one, and marker to salvage anything. Grab combo. And then I'll play this. Oh, that's on Death Rize, right? Yeah, and on play. On play, what's that? On play? On play, pay one, discard. Oh, yep, Cosmo. Yep. Yeah. So I'll pay one, discard, top check. And for the second headphones you left on top or bottom? Bottom. Bottom, okay. One, two, three, one, two. Actually, keeping this will allow me to just pay out the last climax, so. Right, I'll scrap that. Pitch. Mm -hmm. And since we need to pay out the stock somewhere, still, we'll brainstorm. Whiff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Combo. Mm hmm. Wombo. And I might as well convert this into a headphone, so mm -hmm. let's do that. And on death, top check. And we'll grab Miku and discard. Don't need it. Okay. All right. Let's go into Climax, salvage two headphones. All right, got our position fixed. Paid out all our Climaxes. Not bad. Okay. Okay. Five in hand. Front, four, two. One, two. Nice. Uh, let's see. We need green. We'll level the blind stalker. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now we find out if I blind stalked one or not. <laughs> after all these time. I'll, after all this time. After all these years. Yep. Refresh. Dirt. Four. One, two, three. Flying stock, baby! Oh! I mean, there are six in here. So. Oh, okay. I thought I thought I thought you only had one left. All right. So I need. One, two. Okay. So that's a level one bar. Because there's three level three bar, four level three bar. Okay. So there's a level one bar. Sure. Bottom of my stock. <laughs> you know, Miku has a uh, stock bombs, right? <laughs> I like how that first turn you trigger two bars and blank stock to bar. Go bars, baby. Right. Refresh points. Direct. Stop! I'm dying! You're I'm dying! dying. <laughs> We're both dying! I'm dying, bro. Go ahead. Stay on draw. Oh no. Do I clock? I don't even have bar if I want to like combo. What a game. No clock. Yep. <laughs> uh let's move this. All right, we'll search brainstorm. I foresee me getting owned next turn. <laughs> that relies on me getting a climax. Oh my god, kill me. What a game. Indeed. What a game. Okay, I still need one more memory, so memory. Yep. I'll pay one. What are we summoning? Get him. <laughs> hey, it's the Climax combo. Climax combo. Nice. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I don't have forehand. All right, I'm sure to trigger bar so that this can actually... <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Okay, attack phase. Yes. Front. Yep. Two. Cancel. Oh, my God. Front. One. These 
These Mikus are going to eat me alive. <laughs> oh my god. Front. You're what? smaller? What? Cancel! <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> and now I want to draw those. I want to can I want to trigger one. Oh my god, okay. man. Uh, this is Clumphius to draw for turn. Yep. Uh well I want a climax, so I'm gonna clock. You're definitely not gonna be a level three next turn, so. Draw. What? Okay. Alright. I need Oh, this was memory. <laughs> yes. You are exposing yourself there, sir. Might be a good thing. Alright, I need my PR back. That allows me to top check three. Headphone. Headphone? Oh, there's a PR. I think I'll just stop here then. Actually, I'm out five. Let's just go all the way. Uh-huh. Yep. Alright, I still have two of the level three climax left. So maybe we can get there. <clears throat> You would also like to get one thing that just like gets another marker, just like one marker. Yeah. But we'll, we'll see if I actually can find a climax first. Yep. On play, pay one, discard, uh, healer. Top check three, add anything. <sighs> well, if I hit a brainstorm, uh, no, I just don't have enough stock. Okay, it does not seem like we are comboing this what, turn. What makes you not have enough stock? I want the Climax here, but then I also need to grab the Climax Swapper. Oh, okay. And I also need... Couldn't you... No, never mind. I can't use this to grab... So if I grab the Climax and I brainstorm, go to three stock, and I salvage the Climax Swapper, play the Climax Swapper, go down to two stock, so I can't even I can't even triple double Miku. So right. There's kind of no point. So we'll grab that instead. I'll just try to lift for another turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will need to. You should probably change right now to heal one. I think. I'm thinking of. Brain, well, actually, I'm on seven. I need to see what happens here first. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, I could just grab that. You could guarantee brainstorm hits here. Yeah, I'll grab another level zero. Top check. Bottom. Guarantee Brainstorm. Brainstorm. Savage one. Mm -hmm. Level three Miku. So do you just play the Miku here or? Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm going to play a play this. Activate effect. Marker Miku. So this is kind of like paying at the stock up front and then I'm gonna grab. Climax Swapper. Sure. Just in case. Would you also change here? To and then I'm going to change this one. Yeah. Yeah. Pay one. Uh, you whoop. Yo. Yeah. And I'll leave it in the back row. I'll play something else here. Mm -hmm. This does not disturb my deck state. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we're chilling. Just need to not die. Pray. Okay. Front. One. One. Oh. How? <laughs> How? How? Uh, let's see. All right. Um. Don't think I'll need another one of that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is it an A pack? Yep. Okay. Well, the scary thing There's is, no way you trigger two climaxes again after reflex. There's, there's no, no shot. Way. I've done it twice no in a row way. and okay. Two. Okay. No, so <laughs> you, uh, you guys can't see, but Randall was about to blow up <laughs> when he saw the first card was clean. Two. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Go ahead. Alright. I'm only out four. Draw. 
Fuck! <laughs> okay. Randall's going through a roller coaster of emotions. I can't believe how wrong this is about to go. Brainstorm? Mm hmm. Hit one? Okay, alright, actually, nice. not terrible. Alright, okay. Right. But these are still, like, whatever cards. Discord photo. So the 3 2 Yotsuba doesn't heal, right? She does. She does? Yes. Oh, nice. Her three effects are on play heal. And then the two burns. And the two burns. Nice. And the, the, one of the burns is attached to 1k power as well. Mm hmm. Good cards. Okay. Refresh points. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I play this, and then play this, and then play some other card. How much stock do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five. Not even close. Not even close, baby. Oh, but I can just do burn two on one of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Surely you want to try to kill, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we'll... Play a drop. Search. They better be in my deck. <laughs> drop. Search. I mean, we know what three of those uh, cards in your stock. Four of those cards. It's Climax 101010. Yes, yeah, true. <laughs> so they literally, they're literally can't they be. They can't all be there. Yeah. They're all here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. On play, pay to heal, pay to heal. Sure. All right, 1k1. Oh, golly. Okay, so these Yotsubas, while I have three or more quintuplets characters in memory, they gain 1k power and on attack, pay two, ditch two, burn two. Yep. And then climax combo is on attack, if I have three or more memory, pay one, burn two. So I'm getting hit six times this it's turn. triple marine yeah all right we'll start here i've left triple marine on this channel before pay one burn two burn two cancel for three. One, two, three. okay not great side yeah for one bar oh, bar one and so, all right. So now I have to front. Yeah. Front. Pay. Pay one. Burn, burn two, two. And then do it again. <laughs> pay two. I'll take this. Ditch two. I'll take this and cancel the three. Okay, I'll cancel the three either way. Three. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> so close. <sighs> Wrong yeah. order. Yeah. I I, I was thinking after I performed my last turn that I maybe should have gone for a line that lets me heal down to 3-0 post-refresh, because mm. the difference between 3-1 and 3-0 is very, like, it was the difference between lethal here, for example. Yeah. So I really should have considered that. Maybe I should have uh, played the level 0 Miku to mill through the rest of my deck and then just hard play the Miku with the two stock I had left instead of trying to go for, like, the pay one, pay one next turn thing. Mm -hmm. Right. So that was something that I think I definitely regret. Um... <coughs> But otherwise, very nice recovery on your end, considering uh, the no absolute combo. lack of 1-0 Yotsuba <laughs> anywhere inside. <laughs> yeah, did you guys know uh, Rammers is good or something? <laughs> yeah, I definitely think that you for sure want to be running four copies of this mm. in every single Yotsuba, Yotsuba build. Yeah. It's just such good. It's just such a good fallback option, and also the fact that like the main Brainstorm is mm -hmm. not a salvage Brainstorm. This just gives you access, more access to your waiting room, which is really important. Yeah. And then also, uh, I do think that running the... What are your thoughts on the Salvage Brainstorm? I think it's good. I, if anything, I feel like, is there a consideration where you don't run the set one Brainstorm? And, and you, you just only play run this? And you play other zeros. And then you just play the like three of the Salvage Brainstorm in level one. Yeah, maybe. Because it doesn't seem like the, the Search Brainstorm does too much. And you're using a lot of stock and resources on like your other effects that go to memory at level zero. Mm -hmm. Well, one of them's free. One of them. Oh, one of them is free. The the uh, the the. This one's free. 
This one costs stock. Yeah. This one costs stock, but it's a plus one. Mm -hmm. And then this is just Ram Rest, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's too bad to still run this. Yeah. I think maybe I would consider dropping this to two. Right now I have this at two and this at three. Maybe swap the ratios. Mm -hmm. Play more copies of this. Yeah, it's, uh, Randall did, you know, go on a uh, Twitter stampede. Uh, we don't talk. Know. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. <laughs> right. So let's see what would have happened though if you were to icy tail me. Oh. Okay, that would have hit one. I mean, like it would have been well, like, somewhere three. in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. And then. Run one cancel. Run one. Take run one. It. And the last two are on the bottom two. <laughs> after you mill, after you mill eight. Yeah, that's assuming I can get the climaxes. But that's still a work in progress. So. Yeah. How many of the climaxes got hit out? Uh. Or how many of the level three? Two climax? of each so far. So, like, so assume I cancel with this one to live the turn. Mm -hmm. I have only these left. Um. So I'll need to find any climax and then climax swap into it yeah. or just draw into it. Yeah. It's still definitely not guaranteed. So. You yeah. were at 3-0, very likely you could have still lived. Mm -hmm. I do think that, despite the... Like, I, I when I think of the Miku combo, I think of it as a really simple combo, mm -hmm. right? But I feel like the headphones event just really adds a layer of skill, because there are so many lines that you could potentially go for, considering how much deck control you have with those mm -hmm. events. So I think it's a lot less simple than it looks at first. Yeah. Uh, I I think it's I I don't want to say that I feel like the deck is a bit I feel like it's very simple. Uh like you said it there are layers to it. Um but it definitely feel in the end it definitely feels like a deck that you can really practice your fundamentals with. Mm -hmm. Um especially once you really learn how to, you know, control your headphones properly like in this game i had no reason not to look at five up to five but then the keyword up to is very important and sometimes you will want to try to just you know use the effect if not only just to grab anything you can and then do the top check and then the top check can help you with your following plays like the uh, uh like the on play um top discard top check salvage or things like that yeah are there any particular cards that you think you would try to change the ratio so like i was talking about the the brainstorm. Um, I think the maybe, maybe maybe this or I really like this card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, the dual modular, uh, if, the 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 two effects is really nice, especially since you can play over it during your turn. Um, it kind of feels like sometimes you're at the mercy of your deck, and even the headphones won't be enough to save you. So like this card by itself can mill six cards, mm -hmm. and most importantly, it can grab climaxes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and this card climax, it can do it can do a lot of things that I feel like the deck might be lacking sometimes. Um, so that's under consideration. Um, otherwise, I think the deck is fine. Honestly, it's again very simple. Uh, a bit short on stock. The and the finisher game is not super stock heavy, but uh, you also just don't have a good amount of ways to generate more stock. Especially if you like keep triggering climaxes like I did. I have to pay them out. So mm -hmm. like I was never in a position where I had a lot of like stock compression. Right. Uh, and like the final turn, I was, I, I, if I had a bit more stock, I maybe could have tried to go for a line to go for Miku combo, but like since I had no stock, um, I just had to like heal and hope I live. Right. So I think that is a small downside of kind of just the deck and the triggers, honestly. But you no, know, mm -hmm. it is what it is. It's not, it's not choice. So yeah, I definitely think, um, this one? No, not this one. Where? Where's the other? The other one zero? Yeah. yeah that pays out climaxes when you this trigger one? them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm personally a pretty big fan of this card mm -hmm. just because of uh, like in those uh, like I like I like to play around a lot around like the end of my deck, mm -hmm. right? And so I like this card a lot in that uh, let's say you're in a like in any other deck you would be in a deck state where like if you finish your attacks you end with like three cards in deck. And then if you don't have a climax within those three cards, like you triggered it, then it's just like, uh, it's doomed. Yeah. But this one allows you to go through those last couple cards in order to get down to one card in deck, or yeah. you just didn't trigger the climax. Yeah. So um, I like that a lot about mm -hmm. this particular profile. Yeah. Something that the Miku deck uh, improved considerably is it actually has selective, uh, more selective um, hand fixing now, more mm -hmm. than ever before with your back row that grabs anything. You have a helmet that can let you grab anything, and then you also have the top checks, uh, salvage level or so lower. Yeah. Uh, I think those were things that were really lacking when you played the uh, headphones event 
package, but then like you just have to lay on like search brainstorm, mm -hmm. and then just top checking five uh, over and over again to try to find the pieces you need. So yeah. whereas in in this version we have not only the new level zero, but we also have the salvage brainstorm yeah. from the new set. So oh, thank goodness. So you, you definitely have a lot of tools to help you recur the mm -hmm. Miku back. And you have a lot of consistency on just being able to loop it, which is exactly what this deck wants to do. Yeah. You, you just want to trigger pants, get the climax back, loop it again, headphones, you know, keep doing it. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, right, Yotsuba is, uh, the identity is completely different now. Yeah, I actually get to kill people. Yeah, all offense, right? Very similar to uh, how she acts uh, in the respective seasons, season one and two, you know, she's kind of like this. In, she she gives priority to her sisters, and she herself is kind of just like, you know, the, the supporting role. So that reflects in the climax combos, where it's basically just minus soul, very defensive, mm -hmm. sheltered, hiding a lot of secrets. Movie, she's like, I'm in. Yeah. Climax combo, no more, uh, void of lies, I think is what it's called, or something like that. Feelings void of lies. Feelings yeah. void of lies, yeah. She's very upfront and straightforward about her feelings to Mr. Futaro. So, uh, what, what, I, what I really like about this particular deck is how flexible the end game is. Mm -hmm. Because you don't need to have like all of this stock and all of the hand because as long as you have the climax, they do have the, they, they could just have a simple pay one burn yeah. two. So like at worst, it's Marin. You triple, triple Marin yeah. with six. The, the, uh, with the, the damage stock. output is the it's same. Is the same, right. Mm -hmm. But then like for every two stock and two hand, you have beyond that yeah you get more burns and then also if you just like don't even have a third copy you just play some like dummy third character and then you can still do three or even four potentially burn twos right yeah which i think is really really mm -hmm. nice about this particular topic yeah. and yotsuba in, uh, notably does have a stock generator in the level one on reverse with any climax stock gen so mm -hmm. Um, Although I don't, I, I, apparently I didn't need it that game. I just <laughs> all, all I did that game was like play this card. I, just... I have three. <laughs> I'm gonna play my Ramrus. Uh, play two attackers. Go. Yeah. Actually. And then I'll go again. Oh, I'm level three. Play two Yotsuba. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Though if you did have one more stock, you could have burned two twice. Mm -hmm. Right on both of Yotsuba. Well, I had... needed I needed one more hand. Oh, if you no, 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 no. I triggered a gold bar. Yeah. So. Uh, but I triggered gold bar late, so mm -hmm. it's like couldn't really do that. Yeah. Uh, but like that's how the deck goes when it's going poorly, right? Like we, yeah. Imagine if like things are going well, you can get a good refresh. You have a couple more turns to build up your resources. Ha have a good refresh, Mike. When this game is going well, this game has like three, re three, four yeah. refreshes. You just like go through your deck every turn. It's literally like turbo. You yeah. just turbo every turn because this card will like look at like six or seven. Yeah. With a top check X. Yeah. And then you just like zoom. It's like through a, your deck. A, a, in an ideal world, both these guys, both these decks are like, all right, refresh. Yeah, actually. Uh, all yeah. right, refresh. Okay, refresh. Cancel, mm -hmm. cancel, cancel, refresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, that does do it. I had, uh, I, I honestly, th these movie decks are super fun. I feel like there's a stark contrast between these decks and the waifu decks uh, set two and before. Whereas like set two, obviously Itsuki and Nino were like pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. um, but then the other girls, you definitely felt like they were more on the side of like a specially constructed thematic obviously waifu deck mm -hmm. and with set three not only can you represent your favorite character but you don't feel like you're gimping yourself by playing worse cards if anything the game rewards you for playing only a certain character because their effects are correct i remember in the first wave of reveals they yeah. revealed this and then they revealed the mel in the yeah. iski deck and i was just like Thank God these are name locked. Yeah. Holy, I do not want to deal with Mel or Remrus Polka Mel in another set. Like Polka oh Mel, God. but with like extra power for no reason. Yeah, Polka Mel. This game's fifteen if you have a card in memory, yeah. and then like the Eatskis. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I'm good, dude. <laughs> so, yeah. No matter if you're a competitive player looking to build a meta deck for the upcoming season, or if you're just a quint enjoyer and you want to update your favorite girls' decks. I think the Quince movie set has a lot to offer on every end. So I hope you guys have fun with this. Get some inspiration from our waifu and uh, meta deck lists. Uh, coming up is the long anticipated and awaited English original set, Avatar The Last Airbender. As you guys saw, we did get an exclusive reveal uh, for Avatar for you guys this time around. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of very exciting builds to try out. And we can't wait uh, to show you guys what we have come up with. 
So until then, this has been Mike and Randall on the Trustless Collectibles channel, and we'll see you guys in a couple, okay? Bye. Later.